everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we are going secret to the SK-8 below the scuttle panel. Okay, so I'm on the right hand side looking at the um, screen of the car, and there's a panel here obviously, and most of you will be familiar with that view, but here's the rest. This is what happens when you look below the scuttle panel. Uh, if you want to see how to remove the scuttle panel, I'll put a link in uh, a little card on the top right end of the screen so you can look back at a video that shows how to remove that. It's basically the video for uh, removing the windscreen wipers <laughs> and then a side order of getting at your cabin filter. So what's in here? Well, interesting stuff. Let's take a general view first. So we've got our brake reservoir. Then we've got the servo or vacuum uh, diaphragm and that's what basically makes your brakes uh, power assisted. And that's hooked up to a vacuum pipe and that's pretty conventional. Then we've got this cast uh, tower which is basically where the pivot point is for your brake pedal going straight down to push on the, pi the piston that's inside this. So that should be tight. Um, this plate here is part of the casting and seals around the bottom edge. Oops, not the camera, sorry. Seals that in and if water gets into this bay and your carpets get wet, that can be where it's got through. But water shouldn't be getting into this bay. And we covered it uh, on a previous secret, the sort of secret rot out point on the XK8, but you've never been able to see it this well before. So I'm going to just reshare something that you should all be checking today. Okay, so there's a the windscreen coming down. And remember, we've talked many times about this little rubber strap. Now it's hooked on to a piece on the scuttle panel just there and it's vital to stop this well filling with water and rotting through to the interior of your car. Mine is thankfully perfectly dry and in good condition. But the whole thing relies on this, oops, there we go, rubber hose with the elastic band on, which goes down and through into the wheel well of your car. And I'm just pulling that out. There we go. So this, there we go, is the device that stops you getting wet feet, wet carpets from rotten floors and it relies on being in place because if it isn't, that area will fill literally with water. And you look at mine, <laughs> um, my car stands under trees rather too much. It won't have completely blocked it off, fortunately, but. Look at that. Still coming. So that is going to get a wash out before it goes back on. So there oops, is the hole it goes through. Again, the edges of my hole are nice. So I know this has been doing its job. But if this comes unhooked, all sorts of disasters start. Next item in a similar vein is this rubber boot that goes around the base of the windscreen wiper uh, spindle. And the scuttle panel presses down onto this rubber boot and seals. And if this is missing, perished or got a hole in, again, water will pee into this cavity. Difficult to show you. There is, there is a escape, but it's through some folds in the metal and where it's been welded. So it won't fill up like a swimming pool, but the water's gonna sit in there. So this bit, Again, 
if you've got the scuttle panel off, you want to pull him off. Whoops, there we go. And clean him up, make sure he stays supple and able to keep the water out. And I need to clean up these spindles anyway. So through the magic of editing, I'm going to sort that right now. I've got to stop myself because today is not a full detailing in that compartment day. Um, so just a quick tidy up. So I've applied a little bit of copper grease. Oh, sorry, reflecting. Um, thank you, Gary Van Ramatel, for that recommendation. Make it easy to get the wipers back off in future. And as always, if you're not seeing uh, Gary's Bible on the XK8, then please go to the community page where you'll find a little article about it and the link, or I'll put a link in the description below this video. Next little secret is, if your wiper system all of a sudden becomes very noisy, it's almost certainly down to this clever little um, buffer breaking down. Basically, there's a lot of force being used to move these wiper arms around. And no point does this touch the bodywork because it's isolated by this clever little rubber buffer that keeps it off the body, off the bracket, off the washer. They do break down over time. Again, I'm lucky mine's in good nick. Um, but as soon as that touches, it'll go from to ra 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 because you'll be able to hear the motor vibration. So there's one here, um, there's another one in the middle there and if either of those break down you'll know about it in terms of a change in noise. So I've had the little grommet soaking in some vinyl and rubber. Okay, just to give it back some of its oils. It certainly changed colour. It can go back on there. And that should help keep the water at bay. I may have said earlier, I can't remember, but this is a casting. That's not true strictly because it's plastic. Uh, same sort of stuff as your intake manifold. And pivot point for the brake pedal. And here is your throttle cable. That's where it comes through the bulkhead. Over through this compartment. Underneath again the scuttle panel along and then through the scuttle panel there to your throttle linkage. Different if you've got a left hand drive car obviously. That is one of the two bonnet locks. This is on the right hand side and you'll note on the bottom is a micro switch and that is a switch that tells the car whether or not your boot, sorry your bonnet or hood is unlocked it's only on one side so if you keep getting an error where it's locked and it says it's open then that micro switch has become dislodged or is broken okay so then we've got wiper motor you've got your main engine harness here usually actually labeled up there you go just for your interest And this part of the uh, compartment, as you can see, it's got a separate panel and a split big rubber grommet down here, enabling you to get all that back out if you needed to without cutting your car. The strut braces, which is attached to your suspension towers, go through the panel here at the base of the bulkhead to the base of the windscreen frame and they effectively prevent the scuttle shake by sort of triangulating the corners of your car plus it's a very stiff vehicle anyway uh, we've looked at previously pollen filter separate video on that uh, 
and over on the other side of the vehicle again we've got this sort of deflector item one bolt holding it on here tucked under the screen make sure water goes down that way and down a channel at the base of the well there rather than going through your pollen filter or the cavity where the pollen filter would be if you have them you normally only see this unit from about here this is the top of your ECU compartment and it has uh, tamper proof screws normally I've actually fitted allen headed bolts to mine because obviously if you do want to get in there tamper proof screws are a pain if you want to get the old ones off you need a very wide straight blade screwdriver press down very hard whilst turning them as soon as you get them going they're really easy to turn because they're into brass ferrules so it's just getting them to move for the first time i've replaced them with stainless steel cap heads for ease and the cover at the back has actually got torques on which i'll probably swap just to match um, this pipe which is dead easy to dislodge and i did whilst i was cleaning the car actually um, go through the bulkhead, put a little grommet, and into this compartment. And it's basically your breather vent tube, balancing tube, whatever you want to call it. So, but this has got air. It's got fans in the bottom, which extract the heat from the um, ECU. And this just basically balances up with the air inside the vehicle. There's also rather a cute theory that <clears throat> under almost all circumstances the air inside the car will be cooler or as cool as other air that might be ambient uh, due to the air conditioning so by allowing this to be a vent allowing air in you're probably drawing cooler air and then it's extracted through the bottom with fans um, this is another one of your fuse boxes many of which i think we have a separate video on fuse boxes relays what they all do relay box relay box um, accessory wires they don't go anywhere have let's, let's see if i can get it off for you there's a button on top here somewhere there you go so that is two terminals and a blanking plug and depending on what spec your vehicle is, they may or may not be used. You can close another day. Got your hydraulic lines running through here as well. And again, one of the bonnet latches, but this one doesn't have the sensor wire on it. So that's yet another secrets of the XK8, this time below the scuttle panel. I hope you enjoyed a little view of a bit of our car that not everybody sees. Thanks to everybody who joined me for the Petrolhead pub quiz down at the virtual pub, currently known as the Cat and Spanners. It was great uh, to do that live or semi-live, I was on the comments. Um, if any of you haven't seen it and you want to watch back and give yourself uh, an hour of entertainment trying to do with a quiz, then uh, check that out as it's now a video available on the channel. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon. So remember to press subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you click the bell icon as well, it just means that you'll get notified when there's new stuff out uh, rather than you having to stumble across it. See you soon, guys.